Now developing news from Hampton. State police told us about a second shooting on Interstate 64. This one comes before bullets flew yesterday. Chopper 10 flew above the scene as police checked 64 in the Phoebus area of Hampton. The victim was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. That shooting happened near the Settlers Landing Road and Mallory Street exits. Now we are finding out about an incident before that over the weekend on 64 near the Big Bethel Road overpass. A very unnerving time for anyone who drives on 64 on the peninsula. Ten of your sides, Erin Kelly broke the story at 4 o'clock. She joins us from Hampton. Erin? Well, yeah, this, according to the state police, this was simply a woman who was driving at night, driving on 64 East, and she gets hit in the head. We're going to have more on that in just a little bit, but let's recap what we know about yesterday's shooting. At 3.20 p.m., uh, 64 East near Settlers Landing Road and Mallory Street exits, two men in a gold Toyota Camry, according to police, were shooting at another car. They got off on the Mallory Street exit, continued to fire, and a woman was hit. She had to go to the Riverside Hospital, but she is expected to be okay. Now, I talked to a man today who says he saw that happen. He saw uh, what he said was a white car come onto the highway. It appeared to be in a hurry to merge, almost almost like as if another car was chasing it. Um, he says he saw a man point a gun out of a window of a gold Toyota Camry. He saw a puff of smoke, saw that Camry speed off, doesn't know what happened afterwards. Uh, we don't do know that he called 911. Now let's go back to what we know about Sunday. We just got this around 4 o'clock today from Virginia State Police. They say around 1 a.m., a 30-year-old woman uh, who's from Manassas, Gretchen Rock, was hit in the head by a bullet. Uh, this was near the Big Bethel Road overpass. She was on 64 East. Uh, they say that she's in good condition right now. Or we've learned from Riverside Hospital, excuse me, that she was in good condition at last check. Police tell us they don't believe that Sunday's shooting is connected to Monday's shooting, and they do not believe that the woman from Sunday's shooting was the intended target. They're still working to piece together exactly where that gunshot came from. Live in Hampton tonight, Erin Kelly, 10 on your side.